was the prisoner processing room. So we already walked through that giant doorway where the prisoners would have entered. Their next stop on their tour of the Don Jail would be this room right here. So in this room, first of all, prisoners would be strip searched. I won't go into detail as to what that entailed. And then they would receive their first and last shower for the entirety of their stay at the Don Jail. Now this continued for a large chunk of the prison's existence. I can only speculate that at least post World War II, you know, uh, they would allow them more than one shower. But this, for a large chunk of the prison's existence, where they would be, they would receive their only shower, um, and then they would be deloused um, because, especially in the 19th century, a lot of prisoners had, you know, lice and mites and various arachnids and parasites infesting their bodies and stuff like that. And then they would be given their prison card which at first was very much the traditional zebra stripes, like you might have seen in the movies. Um, it eventually evolved to blue denim, and then finally, so when that prison opened in 1958, for the final two decades of this prison's existence, they mostly started using this for one-nighters, so the more uh, serious criminals would go there. So when they started using this prison for one-nighters, the charge was called vacancy. That was being picked up on for being drunk, basically. Uh, then they started letting the prisoners just wear their normal street clothes because they're only in for one night, right? You couldn't let them wear their normal street clothes, the regular street clothes before if they're staying for a longer time because, you know, if they ever escaped, it would be easier for them to blend into the city. Okay? So from here, what, basically this was where prisoners would be, you know, they would abandon their lives as free citizens, adopt their new lives as prisoners of the Don Jail, and once they're, you know, cleaned and prepared for life in the prison, they would be escorted to the atrium and then you know, sent off to whatever cell block they were designated to. Now, there are many cell blocks in this prison. Unfortunately, we only have access to one cell block on these tours. The good news is, all the cell blocks are pretty similar, they're all pretty generic, and the one cell block that we do have access to is the one that contains the gallows. So, you know, for this tour, that is the one that uh, you know, contains the most historical um, residents. So we're actually going to go there in a bit. Um, actually, we're going to go there right now, so if you guys want to follow me, I'll take you upstairs and we'll check out the cell phone.